want to visit the Perseverance on the East Bank of the Mary. The construction of low, middle, and moderate income model houses are being built. Project manager Kennard Dazel said the focus is on quality and standard. The, the timber version of the duplex, the duplex that we will be proposing. Um, it's about 10 by 10 bedroom, uh, the standard size, and it's ideal for a starter home, basically for any, any small family. This here is about 23.5 feet by about approximately 32 plus um, there about, depending on the, the, the edges. The, um, the, the single flat one were 600 square feet, which is 20 by 30. So we have slightly larger, even though they're, you know, they're double. Slightly larger, so um, definitely you can have a little bit more floor space. There's somewhat, I would say, um, in terms of head rooms and everything there, it's, it's, a lot, it's a little bit more better than the, um, the, the single flat ones. All right. Unlike the deficiencies found in the construction of the low-cost houses built under the previous government, the new administration is hoping to make that issue a thing of the past. All right, well, one of the things I can guarantee you right now, I mean, for these new buildings that we're doing and moving forward is the increase in quality. Because before, what, we, uh, what was missed, I would say somewhat deficient, is the supervision, the direct supervision as it relates to the quality, right, and the quality control and assurance um, aspect of the project itself. Um, having identified that was a deficiency in the initial project, I am definitely, I mean, I've increased that, the, you know, the vigilance where that is concerned. So, like, for example, these materials here, these are solid green heart. We have the people going to the locations. I've been there myself to some of the suppliers, check the quality. Uh, we have a system where when it comes here and uh, we identify any defects, it goes back. We don't accept it. All right. We have um, about five clerical works and two engineers on site um, helping out with the supervision of the, pro the works itself. So, I mean, I understand I mean, what happened in terms of initially, but we don't want to make the same mistake again. All right. So, uh, we're putting our stamp of approval on anything that we, we push forward from here on. According to Dazzle, the houses are slightly bigger than the houses constructed under the previous administration. In his view, this is the ideal start for a small family. Um, in terms of this soundproof, the walls are double four inch blocks, insulated and um, plastered on both sides and it goes all the way to the roof. So you will have to be really, really noisy on one side for you to disturb your neighbor on the other side because it's a concern that a lot of persons are, you know, they're having whether I'm going to hear my neighbor business on the other side, you know, so we ensure that that is not the case. And um, in addition to that, the layout of the building too, the bedrooms are on opposite sides. So even if you're in your bedroom talking your own business, well, it's on opposite sides of the building, the, or just the hall space is where the common wall will be, all right? The Central Housing and Plan Authority will be constructing duplexes of three designs, flat, stills, and two-story. The other thing that I'm really excited about the fact is that over the last five weeks, we have on the staff right now, through the contractors here, about 100 guys, right? 100 families, I mean, who started to get some things happening. And imagine this is location one of 10. So over the next few months, the numbers will only increase. All right, so it's exciting times. Um, I was talking to a very good colleague of mine up this morning as he was passing through, and I said, look at it this way. Before, uh, say, six weeks ago, we hadn't anything much happening, right? And with the start of the construction, this is how the economy is. These are some persons here who just came in the other day to start selling, you know, on the side. And they can, in, in that sense, provide for their family in whichever way, shape or form, at what small, you know, small level. So, again, it stimulates the economy, it contributes in every way. So everybody, from the seller, the food vendors, to the small contractors, the, um, you know, to the big ones, everybody will have a piece of it. The suppliers, um, like timber, for example, the buildings are, some of are going to be timber. Uh, the timber suppliers here can look forward to some amount of, you know, business coming their way. Once you grant, you give us quality materials, you know, nice dry timber season. Um, the regular hollow blocks makers, whether you use a machine or you're using whatever. So each and every aspect of the, the, the industries will be able to benefit, um, you know, from whatever it is we're doing. And as I said, I'm excited because this is only phase one and this is the start. So it's, it's, it's going to only get bigger. Now, this project is aimed at reducing the 25,000 backlog of housing applications within the CHNPA system. This first set of houses will be completed for the Housing Solution 2017 and Beyond exhibition slated for the 1st to the 5th of May.